Hey Bass Geek here, and I was really impressed with this company when I run into them for my cast, and they sent me some stuff to try out. Let me show it to you. All right, Geek, so one of the things that I was super impressed with when I ran into this company at iCast this year was their reels. Now, they've got some really cool baits, and they actually sent me some of those too, which I'm very appreciative of. But Arcs Reels, they've come out with a new spinning reel that I cannot wait to get my hands on. They've got some bait casters that were already out, and they sent me some of those. And I do apologize to Ark. It's been a minute since I've had this box. I have just been so covered up and really just trying to do as much fishing as I can too. You guys know it is that time of year for unboxings. So this might be some stuff that you wanna add to those wish lists when it comes to Christmas time. But let me show you some of the cool stuff that they sent me and some of the stuff that I'm really excited about. One of the things, one of the products that I was really jacked up about was an $89 all aluminum frame casting real cannot wait to get my grubby little hands on one of those and let you know how good it is let me show you what they sent me so geeks they sent me a ton of baits and i'll be honest with you like i didn't know that arc made a lot of baits some of these baits look really good well really all of these baits look really good and i can't wait to try some of these out some of them i wish i would have known about a little bit sooner that was in this box because i really think they would have done very well during the summer and like i said i've had them for a minute so that's my bad now i'm going to start out with some of the stuff that i think you guys are really going to like which you know you can fish from bank from boat no matter where you're at these are the lp38 these are lipless crankbaits these are some pretty small lipless crankbaits these are the arc lp38s they're a little bit heavier than say a quarter ounce so maybe like a three eighths ounce they're they're rated at 13 30 seconds ounce which I know, but around maybe a, a three eighths or a third. And this color right here, gold, black, back. The next one, of course, one of my favorite colors. This color is red crawl. Next up is their square bills. This is their 1.5s and their silence. I love that. So this is their 1.5s. They dive, of course, three to five feet. This color is sunset. You guys know one of my favorite colors, Tennessee Shad. I guarantee you this is gonna be a great color for me. I, I like it, don't even know what it is yet. This is matte brown crawl, great clear water color. They've also sent me these very small mid-range divers. They dive to about eight feet. These are the Z Alpha MS8s. This color is olive green crawl. Look how small that bait is. Now that bait still comes in at a quarter ounce, so a good weight. To that little bait next up and these are silent also if you didn't see the sticker on there this is thread fin great looking little color right there last but not least we have got sartreuse black back always going to have that for some dirtier water now we're going to get into some deeper diving crankbaits these are the ct12s and of course they dive to about 12 feet deep this is the rt shad in the ct12 by arc this is the olive green shad. This has to be one of my favorite colors. This is straight up silver shad. They also make some jigs. These are their Z swimmer. And I love this color right here. One of my favorite colors or styles in a uh, swim jig. And this is the GP, I'm guessing green pumpkin shad. And of course, gotta have a bluegill. I cannot wait to try these out. These are some jerk baits by Arc. Here is a very well-known color. Let's see what they call it. This is called Skeleton. This is called AU Pro Blue. Now these are all shallow divers. I think these probably dive to, it doesn't really say on here, but if I'm guessing most of the time your shallower divers, they're gonna dive down to, you know, maybe four to six feet. These are suspending, however. This is white flash. These are the Z pops. These are the poppers from Arc. good looking little baits. This is black bone. And this is a great looking little color right here. Translucent, something that's gonna work good on my clear lakes. This is Z-Bait. 
Now we move into some of the bigger baits. These are more your walking baits, and this is a big pencil style popper. This thing is five and one eighth inches long, three quarters of an ounce. This is the Sidewinder by Arc. This is their walking bait. This is the Outlaw. And of course, this is in chrome. And I have to tell you, this is a color that I really like. You don't see many baits in this sort of flat white. I'm sure they call it a bone. Better than bone, actually. I really like this color. Cannot wait to try that bait. Now, let's dive into what I'm really excited about and what I really talked to Ark about, and that was their reels. Since I'm right-handed, they sent me all right-handed reels. These are the Gravity 3s. And these are some pretty high speed reels. So the Gravity 3s, they sent me two of these. These are a 7-1 and an 8-1. I've got the perfect place for both of these little bad boys. Pretty sick looking little reels for sure. Really good feeling reels. I cannot wait. I've got one of them spooled up already and got it on. This is the 7-1 gravity three it's got some pretty neat little features on here got the magnetic brakes pops right open these things feel solid we're definitely going to do a review on these bad boys good looking little reel very light little reel i'm not going to get into super in depth on these right now i'll give you some uh breakdown seven one to one seven ounces six bearings just a nice little reel the other Gravity 3 is a 8 one to one. This one also weighs seven ounces. So this is the Gravity 5. This is a 5.4 to one. Be real good for those deep diving cranks. It says it's 7.1 ounces, so a little bit heavier. Good looking reel, little different design. I like kind of the gun metal on this. This is the Gravity 7. This is a 6, 4 to 1. I believe it's 7 ounces also. We're really going to put this one to the test. This is going to be put on the underspin rod. So this is going to be a little reel that we're going to really test pretty heavily. All right, geeks, you know what time of year it is. It is time for the unboxings. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I cannot wait to get out and try some of these out. I cannot wait to get my hands on a couple of other reels that they have. No, I'm not sponsored by them. Just had a good conversation with them and they sent me some stuff to try out. I'll keep you posted when I get the other stuff in and we will definitely, after we've used them for a little while, do a little bit of a reel review on the reels that they sent. Hey, geeks, tell me if you've used any of the ARC reels or baits and tell me what you think about them. Be honest, be brutal. It'll help them out when they hear your opinions. As always, questions and comments in the comment section below. You geeks know I love to talk fishing with you. So tell me what you think if you've used any of the ARC stuff before. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so you get those notifications. 100% Watch Squad, you guys know, you geeks know that I really couldn't do this without you. And as always, every single one of you gorgeous geeks out there, you geeks rock.